What is up, you guys? The AK-47's here, and I'm doing deuces all over the screen. All right. We are rocking right now. What are we rocking? Refreshed. What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. College internet sucks. Just letting you know. All right. 2257 subs and 47,000 video views. You guys are amazing. Um, I got requested by one of my subscribers to do a update video on my injuries, scars, road rash, blah, 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 from my accident back on October 6th, 2012. And it is currently January 25th, 2013. So it's been three months and 19 days since my accident and my last scar just finished healing on the 23rd so two days ago three months and 17 days after my accident my last scar just healed so this is what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over all of my injuries like my scars and i will show you what they look like now uh, and then at the end of this video i'm going to do a slideshow with a picture of my bike before I crashed it, and then all of the pictures that I have of my bike after I crashed it. And I'm going to do about three seconds per picture uh, at the end of this video. So it's not too long, but you guys get long enough to look at the pictures. Uh, so let's get into my injuries. By the way, for this video, I have no shirt on, just for ease of showing you guys this. So... Uh, let's start on my left leg. Uh, down here on my ankle, I have this one right here, this little scar right there. Uh, that healed a while ago. Uh, it looks like a, kind of looks like a mosquito bite, to be honest with you, but that healed a while ago. And then up here on my left knee, you know what? Put my leg on my chair and I'll plug in my phone really fast. So, up here on my left knee, I got this one right here, which looks really good, to be honest with you. It healed up really well. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that healed up. Uh, I got this one on my left knee right there. Uh, it's not that bad. Both of those weren't that bad. Uh, on the inside of my left leg, I got this little one right there. Not that big of a deal, but still one of my injuries right there. Uh, onto my right leg, down on my right ankle, down here, uh, I have this one right there, which actually, let me see if I can get that off really quickly. I won't put it on camera in case some of you guys are like really squeamish or something like that. You guys don't have to see me take it off, but... Uh, all right, there we go. So, got that scab off now. I don't know what the heck that was from, but got that off. And then I have this one down here on this ankle that is just kind of dark, but they both healed really well. Uh, moving up my leg on the inside, I have this one right here, which is not dirty or anything like that. That's the natural color of it now. It's black. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see how dark that is, but it's black. Uh, and then moving on to the worst ones. Uh, on my knee over here, I had this one right here, which isn't that bad at all. See if it'll focus. There you go. Uh, and then these two right here. This one wasn't that bad. This was my worst one that I had. It just healed two days ago. Uh, three months and 17 days after my accident. You can see that the skin on the top is still really fresh. Uh, you know, it's still really fresh. It actually, I landed on a rock with my knee, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, you'll just have to take my word for it. This right here is my bone. So I'll see if you guys can hear me doing this. There you go, that's my bone. And so when I landed, a, the rock dug into my skin right there and focused, dang it, camera. Focus. Focus. Okay, anyway. So the rock landed on my 
knee right there and it dug out a section of my skin and that section went all the way down to my bone so i mean it didn't damage the bone in any way but it went all the way to my bone um you could fit like your entire tip of your finger in my leg <laughs> it was pretty gross but so there's that one that was the worst of them uh, up to my hips, I will come and show you this over in my mirror now, just for use of the camera. Um, on my right hip, I had, this one I'll actually just show you down here. I had this one. Um, hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Uh, it's a pretty big one right there. This is the side of my hip and this is my spine right there so you guys can kind of judge how big that is um it was one of the worst ones to heal both that one and then on the other side over here right there that big one those were both uh some of the worst ones to heal because whenever you slept they would heal slash dry to your blanket uh, or your sheets or whatever, and then whenever you woke up, your skin would be healed to the sheets, like your, uh, your back would be like healed to the sheets, and you basically have to rip the sheets off, which would take the scab off, which led to more pain, a longer recovery, and a darker scar, I guess. Um, so there was those two and then down here uh, on my so here's where that one on my right hip was down here is the one that was the really bad one on my thigh and now it's just really big uh, these two really dark spots right there those are actually like bumps in my skin uh, they're like skin lumps I guess you could say uh, I know it sounds kind of gross but I mean, they don't hurt at all. I can press on them and stuff like that, but they just feel really weird. Um, they kind of feel like big moles, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so that was those. And then, let's see here, what else? Oh, okay. So up here on my shoulder blade, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, I'll try to st steady it for you. But you, you, there's two on my shoulder blade right there, two or three on my shoulder blade. And they're really, they healed really, really well. And uh, they're really, really pink. So um, the way they healed, you can barely see the scars anymore. But um, so I got those on my back over there. And then over here on my shoulder, on my elbow, I'll actually just show you this on my elbow. Um, I have, see if I can get it to focus, I have like scar inception, uh, let me take it out of the light a little bit, see if it'll focus better, um, there we go, uh, so the big dark one you see around it, uh, this one, not the pink one, but this one, uh, actually came from me tripping out of my garage, and I fell down my driveway into my friend's car. So that was me being stupid, and uh, so I got a big scar from that. And then the little pink one that's in the middle of it was from my motorcycle accident. Uh, again, it wasn't very bad at all, um, but it's kind of funny because I have like a little target on my arm now. It's like scar inception, like one scar in the middle of the other one. I have a muscle right there too. I don't know if you guys can see that now, but if I like relax my arm and then flex that muscle, it's like this big muscle in the middle of my elbow that uh, whenever I get tense it pops up like that which is why the scars are on that muscle and nowhere else on my elbow <laughs> uh, and then I also had I had one on my hand somewhere I think it was like right there it was either right there or right there but that one's that one's just completely gone or no it was right here my bad right there it's really 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 hard to see uh, just looks like a different color part of your skin, but you can see it. Um, so yeah, that was all of my injuries, I think. I don't think I had any other ones. Um, 
had a little cut on my knuckle right there, but that's that's whatever. It's all good. Uh, and then, so, the only other thing that I have to say is my neck, like the bones in my neck. I've gone to the chiropractor. Uh, I have to keep going to the chiropractor for a long, long time now. But my neck, like, it's supposed to come up your spine, like, up your back like this. And your head's here, and your back's here. It's supposed to come up and then go out of your spine, like, forward a little bit and then up into your head. So it kind of makes, like, a little bend. What mine does is comes up like this, and then it goes this way, and then up, and then this way again, and then into my head. So my thing kind of looks like a friggin' curvy road, where it's just like, er, up into your head, when it should just be like this. So, I gotta get those bones put back in place, like, every week or so, every other week. Um, so that's awesome, not really, but... Yeah, so those are all my injuries, guys. Um, hope I didn't show my face in the mirror for all of you that don't know who I am. There are some of you that know who I look like. And uh, if you do, then there's no point in seeing my face in the mirror or whatever. But anyway, so got to love Sports Center. I will put in the pictures of my bike when I got it and then the slideshow of after my accident right about now in about five seconds so peace out guys have a good day hope you guys enjoyed this video here are the pictures peace there peace pictures <laughs>